He's always quickest to the breakdown, so effective in this aspect of the game. So as the Cherry Boys are grafting away, I find myself next to this very attractive but reasonably rudimentary piece of kit. The Gloucester Boys don't use this, of course, uh, despite the fact that it's grown its own moss for ballast. I love it, so I've negotiated a deal to take this home in my armoured vehicle this afternoon, and I'll put this in the garden because, frankly, I think I've still got it and haven't got over the fact that I've retired. But it is time to move on and talk about the green flag Ford of the month. Now, the first nomination comes from Neil Back, one of my oldest friends. I haven't known him for that long, but he's incredibly old and reasonably short. He's also a green flag ambassador and he's nominated Thomas Waldron, number eight, Exeter Chiefs. He does everything, including scoring tries, very, very well. He's not in a rich vein of form. He seems to exist in a rich vein of form. Top player, Dave Ewers gets a lot of credit from me, especially down at Exeter Chiefs. And Thomas Waldron can sometimes be forgotten, but he's in great form. He's a real asset for them. Second up, Tom Youngs. Hasn't played a huge amount of Premiership Rugby, had a bit of time out with an injury. When he has played, he's been fantastic and he's been brilliant for England. Just love watching him play. Really starting to boss that scrum at hooker. Getting a bit chippy with the opposition, getting a bit aggressive, getting in their face. I really like it. Third, Jack Clifford, back row from Harlequins. Young guy, England 20s experience. I think he might end up on the open side at Quinns at some point, maybe after the World Cup, but a really, really talented player. Big, physical, skillful. Great engine, the green flag forward of the month. I'm going to let my mate Neil Back win with Thomas Waldron because he is a fantastic player and Neil Back is, despite being very small, vicious and rather vindictive and I don't want to face him if I don't let him have his way. Thomas Waldron, congratulations.